everybody. Good morning. Welcome to this Monday installment <laughs> of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Thank you so much for being here this morning. I hope you had a fantastic weekend, one that was filled with, I don't know, rest, relaxation, whatever you do to relax the brain. I had a great conversation about that yesterday, actually, about <clears throat> how rest can actually be work. You know, some some of the things, like I, I and I've said here frequently, uh, actually, that I used to um, make furniture, do woodworking projects and whatnot for relaxation, to relax my brain, because it required just enough focus to not think about other stuff, and uh, but not so much, and, and you know. Actually, the woodworking stuff kind of did sometimes. Fractions, ugh, not good. <laughs> At any rate, we are here this morning. We're going to talk about uh, a couple of quotes that I shared over the weekend, I believe. So as you arrive, please let me know that you're here. Leave a comment. Say hi. Uh, if, you, if you're new or haven't said so already in a previous episode, let me know where you're watching from, just geographically. I think I'm going to try and get all seven continents here. Uh, at some point. That's going to be my goal. But leave your comment down there. That does two things. One, it lets me know that you're here. And that's encouraging to me. And two, it sets you up so that Facebook will notify you when there are uh, good comments that show up in the future. Now, one thing I have failed to point out is that, um, and a lot of you know this already, for years I did this show as an audio podcast. And for the last two weeks or so, I've been republishing the video back out to that audio channel. So that's the same contents going out here on video in the mornings going out over my audio network. So I'm going to leave a couple of clues to those guys also in this and in future episodes. So if you are listening through your favorite podcast listener, you can join the conversation live every morning, 7 a.m. Central on Facebook. Just go to TomRigsby.com slash Facebook. That takes you to the right place to watch the video. So, a couple of the shout-outs this morning. Good morning, Joe, Ramona, Jeremy. Hey, good to see you, Jeremy. And my bride is watching. Yeah, change the background. She pointed out, change the background. No chicken this morning. The chicken uh, has decided to remain in the backyard so far today, and that's the front. So, I just thought... Man, that yard looks really good. I should show it off to everybody. <laughs> That's what I did this weekend. All right, so over the weekend, um, a couple of quotes. And I, I'm going to look down here at my phone, make sure I get them right. Two of them. Um, and, and look, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should. Because over the weekend, uh, this is where I put out content over the weekend. Every once in a while during the week, not so prolific during the week, but as things like this strike me, I might put them out. But over the weekend, a couple of good things. Uh, the, the first quote actually comes from Picasso. He said, only put off till tomorrow what you are willing to die having left undone. Only put off till tomorrow what you are willing to die having left undone. We're not, you know, none of us are promised tomorrow, but we always say, well, I'll get to that tomorrow, right? If you do that, there's a chance you're not going to get to it. Other things may interrupt you. Other things may take precedent and uh, preempt that activity. So if it's something that you want to get done, go ahead and do it today. That's the important thing to remember. All right, the, uh, the second one, the one I want to spend most time talking about this morning, though, this quote from Jim Rohn. I uh, put this one out last night, and uh, I actually have a coffee mug with this on it. I'll put a link to that down in the comments. If you'd like to pick up that for some daily inspiration, that'd be awesome. But here's the quote. Whatever good things we build end up building us. Whatever good things we build end up building us. So there's a couple of ways to look at that, but the way I want to... to focus on this morning, the thing I want to point out to us today is that when we focus on building good things, when we focus on building, number one is building, creating, and number two is good things, right? then the result 
is far beyond the good thing that we built. The result is something different in us. So first, let's look at building. I, I, I believe, and I know you've heard me say this, we are all uniquely gifted, talented, and placed to do work that matters. What is work that matters? Work is the sum total of the value uh, that we leave behind in our wake, right? And work that matters is something that's meaningful, right? We've got a whole, whole long discussion of that we'll get into someday. But that requires some sort of building, some kind of creating, some sort of change. Building might be building, um, building your own capabilities, building on a skill, building on one of the talents that you have to become a master of that talent, building on one of those gifts in order to create something good. Now, if we build and we create and we focus on building or creating something good, we're very likely focused outward. You know, I've uh, shared before that if you start your day, one of the ways that I like to start my day is with gratitude. Write down in the journal something that I am grateful for every day. The reason behind that is that gratitude is an outward-focused emotion. Right? If we start the day thinking outward instead of inward, at me, what do I want, what do I need, right? And we start the day thinking outward, then we're going to project good uh, out into the universe, out into the world, and, though, and, and the people around us can tell, right? If I'm walking around sulking, um, inwardly focused, just really um, laying the weight of the world on my shoulders, you can tell. I mean, you've seen people like that, right? Maybe you've been like that. But if, on the other hand, you turn that around and say, okay, no matter how bad this is, there's at least one thing I can be grateful for. I woke up today. I can stand up on my own. I can walk across the floor. I can speak. I can write. I can something, something that you're grateful for. That changes that attitude up here from inward focus to outward focus. All right, so building something good, right, good, has to be an outward focus, right? Whatever we build, let me make sure I get that right. Whatever good things, there we go, whatever good things we build end up building us, right? So when we're focused outward, we build those good things, good based on who? The people out in front. Then it winds up building us. The reward for us is much greater than just that tangible thing that's left. Have you ever... I mean, I, if you've ever had the opportunity to create, whether it's playing music, painting, writing an article, making a video, uh, doing a spreadsheet or PowerPoint, so you just created something, and other people looked at that as like, wow, that's really good, then you know what I'm talking about. That, that recognition, that acknowledgement that the work that you did was good is way more meaningful than that silly spreadsheet or video or, or even the music that you made, right? It's the recognition that makes a huge difference, right? So, one more time, make sure I get it good. Whatever good, we'll get it right. Whatever good things we build end up building us. What are you trying to build today that's good, right? It's very easy for us to slip into this trap and think about building what I need, right? And I, look, I'll confess, I'm terrible about that. I have to remind myself of that every day. In fact, that's why I have the little sticky on my computer. You know, how can I add value to the people around me today? Right? It's very easy to slip into that thinking about building something for me. But the question for you today is, what are you building good for other people? When you do that, when you master that, and you do that on a regular basis, then you will find a reward that you didn't even expect. All right, let's see if we got any comments here. Yep, quote, quote, good. Thank you, dear, for putting that quote in there. She's so good to me. Hey, and Eric quoted, and Eric commented as me. Uh, so we, we both can work on each other's Facebook pages, so if we forget to change the little icon, we quoted somebody incorrectly. 
All right, that's it for today. Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. If you are having difficulty creating or achieving a specific result, I'm here to help. If you go to TomRigsby.com, look in that top right-hand corner, you'll see a little icon up there for Fast Five. I'd encourage you to go check that out. I'm, uh, it's been out for a couple of weeks, kind of in a soft launch. I have, I've had several people working through it to give me some feedback uh, and some testimonials. Those should be up on the site this week. Uh, but go ahead and, and check it out for yourself. Five simple steps to begin creating the results that you want. They're simple. I didn't say they were easy, but they are simple. Comes with worksheets, about an hour's worth of video to help you get the results that you are looking for. Thank you so much for being here today. If this has been helpful, I would appreciate it. It would help me out, and it will help your network out if you will share this with your network. Just put it out on your uh, page, or if there's somebody um, specifically that you think can benefit from today's message, send them a Facebook message. Send them a, a text message with the link to this video so they can see it also. They'll appreciate it, and I will too. All right, that's it till tomorrow. Until then, you have a magnificent Monday, and I will talk to you tomorrow.